Hi, I'm Hamish from iSpirits.com.au and today I'm going to show you the secret of making your own spirits and liqueurs. Think about your favourite whiskey or your favourite bourbon. Well, imagine how much better that's going to be when you've made it yourself. It's fun, it's simple, it's easy. Why wouldn't you have a go? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give our 10 litre fermenter over here a light sterilise. We put that in the uh, fermenter and about a litre of cool water. And we'll just give it a bit of a shake. Tip that down the sink. Now that my gear's nice and clean, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glucose sugar. It's important to use high quality sugar. Glucose uh, makes a very high quality spirit. And I'm going to put it into my fermenter. I've got seven and a half litres of warm water in here at around about 30 degrees. It's very simple. So two and a half kilos of glucose and simply just pour that in. Oh, it's bubbling up there beautifully. Give it a quick stir. It only takes about 30 seconds. Fully dissolved. Now that I've got my glucose dissolved in the water, I actually need to ferment that glucose and turn it into alcohol. So the first thing we're going to do over here is I'm going to grab some liquid carbon. It's very important when you're making spirits that you want to make the cleanest possible spirit. And one way to do that is you, you put liquid carbon into your fermenter. It's just sludgy black stuff. Turns everything nice and black, but what that does is it provides an extra layer of filtration during the fermentation process. The next thing I'm going to add to that is my yeast. It's a very high quality spirit yeast. Now this yeast will ferment the sugar. Uh, it'll take about a week and what we're going to end up with is about 15% alcohol and a little bit of dust there. And I also need some yeast nutrient and that's simply the food for the yeast to make it work right through those sugars. Because what I'm trying to get is no sugar and lots of alcohol. So now that my, all my ingredients are in the fermenter, I'm just going to give it a quick stir, just for a few seconds, and uh, put the lid on. It's going to take about a week to 10 days to complete. It's now a week later, and I'm just going to test that the yeast has done all the hard work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a small sample. And what we do with this is we drop what we call a hydrometer in the test tube. And this is just a weighted measure that tells me if there's any sugar left in the, uh, in the fermenter. And as I can see there, it's actually at a level now where there's no sugar left. The yeast has eaten up every last bit of sugar and converted it to alcohol. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add turbo clear because I need to clear my alcohol before I put it into the still. And all I do is I just add this, stir it, wait 24 hours, and then I'm ready to go tomorrow. So 24 hours later, I've cleared my alcohol and I've got four and a, taken four and a half litres from my fermenter. And I'm now going to pour that into my still ready to distill. So great, now I've got my air still and it's uh, whirring away and in there I've got my 15% alcohol and what's coming out here is 60% alcohol and it's been cooled by the fan in the lid. So there's no water required, really simple. It's as easy as boiling a jug. Right, I've now drawn off 700 mils of alcohol at 60% into here and I've added 300 mils of water to bring it back to 40% and now it's time to carbon filter. Put it together like that and I'm going to pour the alcohol let that drip through the carbon filter to make very clean spirit at 40% ready to drink. So it's time to choose my drink. And today, I'm gonna to have a Tennessee bourbon. Try not to spill any drops, it's a crime to waste alcohol. In she goes. Ready to go. Oh, I might let that age for two, three seconds and we're ready to drink. So there you go, too easy. So if you're interested in, in this system or any of our other systems, check out our website. Cheers, mate. Oh, love that. Mate, you got to try that, it's a ribeye. Have some of that one. Oh. Mm. oh. Fantastic. I'm going to keep that. I'll see you later. Oh.